on the side of my father, uh, of my mother, sorry. Uh, you know the story of Mala Musa from Mali who went to receive the flag from Usman Danfodio. And on collection of the flag came and conquered Zaria. Uh, you know the story of the conquest where our own present day Suleja, which used to be Abuja, were the original people or the main rulers of Zaria at the time. Mala Musa took over and became Emir, or rather the first Emir of Zaria. And from him, his, uh, one of his uh, uh, grandson, Sidi Abdul Qadr, Sidi Abdul Qadr took over and then Ali and Sidi also became an Emir. He was the one that was exiled by the British to Lokoja because he simply said he would not allow Christianity within the walled city, but he gave them places, including the present day Usasa, for their activities. But I think the British were not too happy with this. Well, a very knowledgeable person, and uh, they knew that if they allowed him, uh, he would have fought them to a standstill. But so they exiled him to, to Lokoja. He gave birth to my grandfather or my great grandfather too. Amada Kiero. Amada Kiero had his first son, Al Hajo Maru. Al Hajo Maru gave birth to my mother, Hajia Jamila. And so I see myself as a child of jihad. Because if not for the jihad, probably I don't know what will have happened. But at least now I'm here as a Nigerian. And I think Nigeria. And Believe me, when people ask me, why are you not too strong about tribal? I say, there is no way you can grow up in our family compound and be tribalistic. More so in the kind of community that you have grown up, where there was a time when probably the population of the Igbo in Mina was larger than any other group in that town at one time. Until today, Mina which you can say the creation of railway and the creation of Peko and Boso really is very, very cosmopolitan with all the tribes that you can think of. In fact, even the areas represent sometimes the kind of people that came there first. If you go to Mena today, you will hear about Ketara Gwari, which was then during the railway construction, where Every, you know, they, they did it in such a way from Lagos to Kano. Every time they reach a particular place, they will send to the leader of the place, give us laborers that will work for the railway. So the leaders of that time, the Gwadi that they brought from uh, hinterland were settled in a particular area. And that area today is known as Ketara Gwadi. If you go to Mina, they can take, take, uh, take you to Angwon Kaji. And because of the peaceful nature of that town, every town that had problems from Kaduna to Jos and other places, people were rushing into Mina. And today, Mina has become very, very cosmopolitan and a very nice city to stay.